I know it looks goofy, but it works. If you have a mini tramp in a closet somewhere or attic or basement, this might be a really good time to retrieve that. In the meantime, for today's energy shot, I'm going to give you some tips for working at home. Hey, my friend, Carolyn here. And for today's energy shot, I'm going to answer a question that I've been getting asked a lot lately in the last few weeks. And that is, hey, Carolyn, do you have any tips about working from home? So I've worked from home for 17 years. Um, I'm the creator of the Simply Healed Method. It's energy healing. So all my clients are either over phone or Skype. And I also train practitioners in my method and certify them. And some of that is done online. Some of it is done live, probably online now. And so it, all of that has just originated from my little home office. And I love it. And there are certain things that I've learned over the years that are really valuable, little, tiny, simple, kind of no-duh tips. And when you do them, they make a big positive difference. So the first thing is taking breaks. Take breaks. You saw me on my trampoline before the first of this video. That's my favorite thing to do on one of my breaks. I feel like it just oxygen oxygenates all my cells in my body and helps me think more clearly and be able to focus. But it's really important to take breaks in the day. So set a timer on your phone for whatever time feels right for you, depending on what project you're doing. Um, they've done some kind of science on this. And I think it's around 50 or 52 minutes is the ideal time for people to take a break when you've been working on something. So make sure to set the timer on your phone. Sometimes I set mine for 20 minutes or something if I'm just trying to super focus and, and um, get something done. Use that and get up and take the breaks. And it's like the old story of um, sharpening your saw, taking time out to sharpen your saw. And so you'll be able to cut a lot more trees down and go a lot faster. So sometimes it feels like, oh, I just got to power through this and I, I can't take a break. But I, I promise when you do give yourself the self-care and take, you know, even just a, a 10 minute break, um, it will make a big difference. OK, also um, make sure you always have water at your desk. Stay hydrated. Drink a lot of water. I sometimes think I am. And then at the end of the day, I'm like, wow, I was in my office all day. I, I didn't drink enough water. So make sure you get enough water. And um, bonus, drinking enough water will also remind you to take those breaks because you're going to have to be doing the potty breaks. Okay. Also, um, have a conversation with the other people in your life, in your orbit, in your household. If you have... Um, if you do not live alone, um, whether you have an office or you may not even have an office, but you just have an office space, a workspace set up, make sure the other people know what your boundaries are, what, what your rules for, for when they can talk to you or interrupt. Um, which, and I kind of go by Captain Barbosa's line about, you know, it's, it's, it's really more like guidelines. So set your guidelines how you need them to. For example, uh, when I have my office door closed, people know don't come in because I'm either, you know, I'm usually with a client on phone or Skype. Um, if I'm recording something, I put, I do an additional step and put a little post-it note outside recording, don't come in. And if I'm just doing emails and things that I don't, I can be interrupted, that's fine. I'll just have my door slightly open. So you decide what works for you. And then the important part is you have that conversation with other people because don't just assume that people in your house know that you're working. Yeah, they know you're working, but they didn't know you had any rules about um, how much time you need or if the door shut, don't interrupt and all of that stuff. So I know it seems so simple, but use that, do it. Uh, let's see, my other thing is stick to your morning routine. So if you don't have a morning routine, now is probably a super good time to start one. Uh, but anything that happens in your morning routine 
it should probably happen before checking emails, before going in your office. Once in a while, if I've got a big project or something going on, I actually will check emails just on my phone before going in my office, just to make sure there's nothing like I need to quickly get back to before I spend the time, you know, on my prayer meditation exercise, um, the things that I like to do in the morning before going into my office. I want to be able to relax while I do those and not feel like, ooh, did, was there an email or something going on this morning that I really had to get back to? So only on certain times I'll I'll do that. I'll check out my emails on my phone quickly just to see if there's anything pressing. But other than that, let, give yourself the gift of a morning routine, not having to um, go straight into your office as soon as you you know, get up. Um, another tip from working from home is take a shower every day. Like it's easy to just, when you're working on projects and you're working a lot, to just get up and start working and think, oh, let me just check these emails and then I'll go get in the shower later. And then the day goes on and you end up not. Does that sound like I have had personal experience with that or something? Maybe I have, yes. I've worked from home for 17 years. Did I say that before? A long time. And we have five kids. So I did have kids at home while I was, you know, I was raising kids while I was also raising a company. So now I've only got one, one bird still in the nest, but I kind of learned and worked into all these things all through all those 17 years. And I know most of those sound really simple, but a lot of times the most simple things people just kind of brush by because you think, oh, well, yeah, of course. Uh, but there may come a time where you go, oh, yeah, I forgot. I haven't been doing that or I need to establish that. So um, my other my only last tip would be have an ending time every day for your work day and do something that tells you, okay, I'm done for the day. Like for me, it's um, cleaning, it's trying to straighten up my desk a little bit and putting my to-do list for what I'm going to do tomorrow. That is always a work in progress for me. I'm not super great at um, ending at this. It doesn't have to be at the same time every day, but just you know, cutting it off at the end of the day, but that is really important. And that also, I'm so much more productive when I know I have to be somewhere and I know for sure I'm gonna cut it off at a certain time of the day. Um, so I hope those tips help you, even if just one of those comes to your mind later on someday and it, it is helpful for you, I'll be so happy. Okay, so there's my answer to your question. And like I said, I hope that helps and I will see you again next week and subscribe, please, and ring the bell if you like this and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.